I felt victimized by an anonymous person, and I felt like there was no support, no help from the people who could have done something to put this to a quick end. Good evening. We begin with a City News exclusive. A Toronto woman has filed a report with the Toronto Police after she says someone attempted to steal hundreds of dollars from her credit card. She was first notified of this by a retailer but was shocked to find out when she says the employee told her they wouldn't be calling the police to file a report on the man even though that man was standing right in front of them. Retailers are on the front lines in terms of stopping these kinds of acts and I think that they have a responsibility to do something. Suzanne, who doesn't want her last name used, says Rona let the man who attempted to steal over $800 from her walk away without calling police. She says she received a call Saturday night from Rona Stockyard saying a man who was still in the store was attempting to pick up a purchase he made online using her credit card. He had her name, credit card number and address. Both parties realized it was a fraudulent attempt and Suzanne says she was grateful to the store for picking up on that and refunding her money. But then she says the employees left the rest up to her. I spoke to the manager and they did not call the police. What explanation did they give you for not calling police? They said that they didn't want their staff to be in harm's way. They had to protect their staff. but. I didn't ask them to do anything with the perpetrator, just to call the police. Arona spokesperson says the retail giant is still gathering details to confirm the facts, and that protocol was followed that night when the employee immediately canceled the order after speaking to Suzanne and advised her to report the incident. The email statement reads in part, the loss prevention team did make sure to save the video surveillance tape, which is only accessible to that specific team and not the store personnel, so as to be in a position to collaborate fully with the authorities should the victim of the tentative fraud file a complaint, which in the end is her responsibility and not the store's. The security expert says retailers don't tend to call law enforcement these days because of safety and fear of lawsuits. A person is just trying to do their job behind the counter at a, at a supermarket and they're telling the other person that there's an issue here. It can become violent. It becomes uh, very dramatic in the store and they don't want any of that to occur. Daniel Tobak advises credit card holders to become more vigilant with checking their transactions daily, saying these forms of bold thefts are becoming more common as technology is advancing. Even when you have a chip card, you should still have your credit card signed. And there's nothing wrong for your retailer, even though you're putting the chip and even though you're doing the code to actually ask to turn over and see your signature. Uh, because what we see with a lot of uh, fraudsters out there they don't even bother signing the card. The experience has Suzanne questioning how retailers respond to these calls. They need to find a protocol that is suitable, not to just protect their employees and their property, but to help protect the community at large. Well, the card has since been cancelled. Suzanne tells me she's also in touch with Visa, who has also launched an investigation of their own. Now, this story was sent to us by a City News viewer. If you have a story you'd like us to look into, here are all the ways you can get in touch with us.